Hello world. Hello YouTube. Hello everybody. So this video is going to be about my coffee pots, my mocha pots. Um, questions have been asked is how do, what do I do, how do I use it, that kind of thing. And what they're all about. What this is, is a uh, nine cup Bialetti mocha pot. What it's actually supposed to make is, exp is espresso. And that is these little itty bitty cups of coffee, as you can plainly see. And uh, I'll show you how that these are made real quick. There, there have there are videos on the on YouTube. This and that is how to operate one of these mocha pots. Excuse me, I just got up. I haven't had my coffee yet, and I'm trying to make a video. So here we go, Frankfurt. See, a little. Isn't that crazy? Right. So this one's I think is a nine pot. My one cup, I think, is like a six cup espresso. Okay, so let's move on. I make regular coffee out of this, and I'll show you how. I take my coffee. Well, let's do this right here. And I take this apart. You screw it apart. All right. Usually, you know, the night before you clean it, that kind of thing. I did this before. I didn't want to put you through that with my coffee. Here's your little basket. Right. Put that right there. So, two cup. One cup. Two cup. <laughs> now, what I do is, see here, there's a... This is how bad, you know, badass this thing is. This right here is a pressure release valve. This one has one too, right here. Let's see, because it really, you know, it, it puts it out. It, you know, it's a pressure kind of thing. Put your basket in. Take your coffee. Uh, side note, here I use Folgers coffee, and they have this aroma seal thing on it, right? And some people, you know, they peel it right off and they just do their coffee thing and this and that. I have found, due to the fact that I did this once, and I won't do it again, I put my thing and I made my, set my coffee up the night before, and set it on the stove, um, the coffee didn't turn out as well at all, because the, uh, the grounds were allowed to outgas, as it were, you know, the aroma would, was allowed to escape, so I keep my seal on it, to where I can keep all that flavor in there, just one of my little... Well, if I want something nice, I really have to work at it. And so you take it out. One scoop. Two scoops. Now, right there is good, strong coffee. If you want stronger, all you have to do is just heap this just a little bit. I mean, you got to be careful once you get past these two scoops. And where you get some knock -em out coffee. What's supposed to happen is, now that we've got that done, see, watch, I'll just slide that on there, and that keeps my fresh coffee fresh as a daisy. What's supposed to happen is you're supposed to stack this, I mean, fill it full, 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 you know, until it's heaping, and then put your top on. Right, but just if you just do that, you know, it makes good regular coffee. And you screw it on. Then you put it on the stove. Let's get it on there, because I'm going to need some coffee, boy. I'm coffee madness. You set it at medium-high heat, because you don't want high. You don't want to be smelting iron, you know, and this and that. And it percolates just fine. Maybe I'll do an aftermath. Put the cups away. Except for this one. Put this one away. See, look at that. This makes six of these if you stack it to pieces. It screws apart. This one I gotta clean up. Yeah, I used it yesterday. Okay, so there it is. Um, it makes perfect coffee. Just a few grains of coffee grounds will make the difference between life and death. <laughs> it can make some strong ass coffee. And like I said, what it's supposed to make is these, and it comes out dang near a syrup, like you get out of the machine that makes the regular cups at the store. Okay, now for my shameless uh, 
commercial, my TV commercial. I sell jerky online. Okay. Premium jerky from jerkydirect.com. They sell beef steak sticks, all kinds, turkey jerky, every kind of this and that. Um, some fruit sticks, that kind of thing. This is the first time I've used a commercial. And I'll get better at it and I'll get the list on there. This is uh, naturally smoked. And there is no preservatives. Made in America. It comes out of a place called in Idaho. So if you want to buy jerky from me and help a fella out, simply go to... Lampy One at jerkydirect.com. Or no, it's not at. Lampy One.jerkydirect.com. www. <laughs> like I said, it's my first commercial. Dot Lampy One, numeral one, dot jerkydirect.com. And thank you very much for your help and your support and taking the time to watch my video. Alrighty then. Live by your wits, not by your worries. Peace. Bye.